Oh my god. Oh my god, Ryan Murphy, you are a genius. What did I just watch? Okay, I'll tell you what I just watched. I just watched the best American Horror Story episode out of every season they've ever done, believe me. And I'm a big fan, but that was incredible. Like, okay, I knew it was going to be a good episode. Like, I was like, you know, this is going to be a good episode because the twist was good and I had high hopes with, with what they're going to do with, like, what I refer to as the real season. But it blew, like, all my expectations out of the water. It was fabulous. Did you love it? You have to thumbs up if you loved it, too. Like, I'm freaking out. And if you haven't been to one of my live shows and you're on the East Coast, you have to come because it was so much fun this week just reacting in real time with everyone else who's watching. I don't even know, like, I can't think of anything more fun to do, honestly, this week than what we just did tonight watching that live show together. <laughs> Like, it's so much more fun when you watch it with other people. Okay, let's get into what happened in this episode and my theories about the rest of the season. First of all, I mean, I can't really, like, process that this season is only 10 episodes. How are they going to resolve everything? Now, I do think we saw Finn in this episode, but I'm not so sure how we saw him because he was credited for the first time. But where is Tasia? Where is Lady Gaga? We've kind of, like, forgotten about her completely. And the guy who played the Butcher's son, we've never seen him again. I don't know if we ever will. So we only have three episodes left, according to Wikipedia and Ryan and everyone. And I just think the show, the season has so much more potential than three more episodes. And it just... I don't know. I'm like hoping that there's a, you know, another trick, another twist that we have more episodes because usually we at least have 12. So, um, pretty soon into this episode, it starts out with Sydney and the rest of his filming crew, which surprises me really that there's just, what, three of them? It seems like there would be a lot on this type of production, but they get murdered and we don't really know who murders them, but they're gone. Now, going into this episode, one of my main theories was that all of this was fake and the deaths were staged because I still have a big problem with the fact that we saw on camera the nurses killing Rory because technically um, ghosts are not supposed to appear on camera. So not only did we see it ourselves last week in what they claim was the lost footage that they edited together, but then we saw Sydney in this week's episode refer and look at that video like the guy who was with him was like, oh my god, they're killing Rory. And so they saw the ghosts on camera as well. So I'm like, you know, maybe they're just messing with us and all of this is for ratings and no one actually died. And that was one of my main theories. But after this episode, it just felt really real. So I'm a little confused, but I'm still torn on how we are able to see ghosts on camera. And that messes with me. And I feel like that's an inaccuracy with the show if they're going to go with that. But I'm curious to see what you think about it. So we lose Sydney off the bat and the other two people who we just met. So we really don't care. But anyway, um, we learned some interesting stuff about the cast members. So Dominic, who is Cuba Gooding's character, aka fake, fake Matt, cracked me up because really I love this season how it's like a mockumentary about reality shows and about how sometimes when you know real life reality show stars get so into the hype of being famous and Hollywood and all of that and a lot of them get on drugs and have like crazy lives like after that's over so we see some of that come to life in this episode. So Cuba wants to be the star of the reality show. He's the only one wearing like a body cam um, and Sydney has discussed this with him and he wants to be the person who instigates everything. He referenced Puck from Real World. I don't know if you got that reference, but that is like a billion years ago. The Puck was like, God, I watched this as a kid. He was like super annoying, like probably the worst character they've ever had on Real World. And Cuba is, you know, in this episode, he's trying to get Shelby back, but it's all fake. You know, when he came into the the reality show last week, he was trying to fight real Matt, but he's let, letting us know in the confessional, which I think is brilliant. That's another nod at the real world. Um, he's in the confessional being like, you know, I'm just trying to be the star here. I'm just trying to you know, start up drama and everything. And he had this agreement with Sydney, and that's what they're paying him to do. So that was pretty cool. We got to see his take on that. So Kathy Bates' character, a.k.a. Agnes, um, has seriously lost it. Like, we knew she was insane, but she's real crazy. Like, we didn't know that level she was on. Like, I thought she could go there, but she's really going there. So um, before we get to her craziness, Rory's body is missing, but they discover a huge pool of blood, and they realize that something's just not right with him. However, British Sarah, <laughs> um, or fake Shelby, thinks that he just went off to be like Brad Pitt and claim a movie role in Hollywood and he like left her and everything which is really hilarious but I don't think that's what happened and we'll find out later that's not what happened. 
Okay, so we need to talk about Agnes here. Um, you see that she's like filming herself, um, acting like the butcher and everything, because she really thinks she is the butcher. And Kathy is brilliant in this, and she deserves an Emmy. Come on, give this woman an Emmy for this season. But what I didn't expect is when Shelby goes to her room, real Shelby, and we know she's like, we all notice there's like a new camera on the bed. It's like the professional camera that we find out Agnes has put there. And just the shock, one of the first shocking moments of this episode and many more to come is that Kathy comes out at her with a cleaver and, you know, whatever, hacks her back like a serious, serious injury. And it looked like real Shelby was going down. But thankfully, Dominic comes in and saves her, and Agnes disappears, and we know she's not going to be dead. So we know we're going to see her again. So yeah, um, I was just concerned. Like, are they actually going to show her getting some medical attention? Because there's no way she can live through this. But they kind of bandaged her or something. I think in real life, if she didn't go to the hospital, she probably wouldn't have made it. Because it was a cleaver, not a knife. And that is like a very serious injury. So yeah, I am worried for you. Okay. So things just get crazier from here. Now, I think something that's important is that Lee is the only person, I guess, filming this for herself, maybe using her own phone. We also find out later she brought a gun, which is going to come in handy. Um, oh, my God. So there were just so many OMG moments. So um, they decide. So real Lee, fake Lee, hopefully you're keeping track at home, and fake Shelby um, go out into the woods to try to figure out, like, if they can get a car or something because they need help for real Shelby. So they come across, um, Sydney and everybody dead and they flip out and they realize the car they had there is dead and, like, no phones are working and there's no internet, obviously. Um, and then, so, like, <laughs> fake Shelby starts having like blood all over her head and she's like I'm not bleeding am I and she looks up and it is freaking Rory and he's hanging from a tree bleeding that was epic in every way and then we see these other people and um they looked kind of like modern day people and they have cattle prods and they start like attacking them with cattle prods now this is like the counterpart of the cannibal people we saw from the show now these people are not ghosts they're real modern day people. Now I, I have a question about them because they are filming what's going on. They capture the three women and they're filming what's going on here. And I found that a little bit weird and even one of them pointed out maybe it was one of the Lees and she was like, why are you filming this? You know, so that kind of is like, oh, is Ryan messing with this here? Is that, is that a hint? I don't know. Um, so at the same time, real Matt, I saw the look in his eyes when he woke up from bed, like he's sleeping with real Shelby and I knew it I knew he was being possessed again so he gets up and he's and I'm like oh my god are we gonna see Tasia finally so in the show of course he would be going to see um Lady Gaga but here he goes to see this witch and we never freaking see her face but I feel like this has to be Tasia which I'm excited for because I think that's a good role for her even though there's only three episodes left it's a good role for her to grow and branch out but anyway, so Dominic wakes up Shelby. He's like, you got to go because Matt's flipping out. He's left. And they follow him. Now, this was probably the biggest shocker of the whole episode. Um, still never see the witch's face, but Matt confesses. He's like, I'm in love with this witch, and that's the only reason I came back to the show. Now, props to those of you who made that comment on my video before tonight, obviously. Um, there were several people who made that comment, and that was very, very awesome of you to figure that out. So, okay. Well, like, yeah, most women would probably be jealous considering she's his wife, but she freaking beats his head in. And I'm like, am I watching Negan on Walking Dead again two times in one week? How is this happening? Okay, no, she's completely out of her freaking mind like that. Oh my God, I don't know. Don't have the words for that. That was freaking crazy. That shocked me more than anything. I never expected that coming. So the death count is four so far. Sydney. Matt and the two people we don't care about working with him. Um, yes. So I don't, I don't even have the words. Do you have the words? I don't have the words. So she's psychotic now. Honestly, I want her to die because she displayed some psychotic tendencies there. And the weird thing is that she cheated on him first, but she couldn't. She was psycho when he was cheating on her. 
never mind. So she made me nervous when she was in those scenes with Dominic because I'm like, is she going to kill him? Now, for those of you asking who I think is going to survive this season, I'm going to go with Dominic because he kind of made a point to say he wants to be the hero of the season, the main star, and maybe that's a little bit of foreshadowing. And as much as he's acting, you know, that's all he is. He's still actually acting and the rest of the people are just playing their real selves. So I see him as the survivor. I'm very curious to see who you think will survive. Pose that down below. We're almost finished here. Hope you're still sticking with me, but the episode is worth, a, you know, a few, several minutes of a video. So, um, all right. So the cannibals are also weed growers, and they, like I said, capture the three women. This scene, though, I'm glad it wasn't too graphic, but they're putting meat tenderizer and everything on real Lee's leg because they're about to have some dinner. And I'm just like, I, if they dig in with a fork, I'm done because I, I just can't see. I watched The Walking Dead and that was, whew, that was so much brutality for one week. And I just can't see someone feasting on this woman's leg. I just can't. But we know it happened because later, Fake Lee and Shelby were fed parts of Lee's leg. So, you know, there is Lee's fried chicken, but I don't think that's what they meant when, you know, they were eating her leg. But anyway, I think they would have just had to go ahead and kill me because I'm not going to eat someone's leg. Um, but you can only assume that those two are going to be dinner next. But I do think Lee is alive. I think we saw her in the preview. The ending was so epic. We finally see the colonists, the real colonists, and the butcher who may or might, may or may not be Finn and drag. Props to Ralph for thinking that it could be. I'm not sure. What do you think? Do you think that was Finn? If not, you know, you can let me know. And of course, Kathy Bates thinks they have some kind of kinship or her name is Agnes. She thinks like, you know, they're friends or whatever. She's like, oh, I'm so inspired by you. And we all knew what was going to go down. The butcher freaking puts a cleaver through her head. Wow, could this episode be any better? But now where are we going to go from here? Where are we going to go from here? And how do we only have three episodes left? I think Dominic survives, but it looks like next week is going to be more craziness and more people dying off and... What I want to ask you, is this real or is this fake? Are we actually watching everything we watch in the first half come to life? Is that the twist? I mean, we know the twist sort of, but is that more in-depth to the twist? Or are we being screwed with, basically, and everything we're seeing is just a reality show that's fake because so many reality shows are fake? I want you to tell me what you think and tell me who you think survives. And if you haven't subscribed to me, please do. I'm covering all of this season of American Horror Story. Plus, I cover other shows down below, How to Get Away with Murder. Look at the schedule down below, How to Get Away with Murder, The Walking Dead, um, Scream Queens. Hopefully, you'll join me if you also watch those. But thank you so much for joining me for this video because... I am in love with this season. Oh my god, I'm so happy. So, so ha happy. That's like one of the best episodes I've ever seen of any show, and I just, I need to shut up now. So thanks for watching this episode of, of Kelly TV. Bye, guys. <laughs>